Hey, what's up, Restorers? We're back with another episode of Tony Restores and Explorers. Today we're out here in Warrenville, uh, around Schmidt Park. We'll clean up this beautiful little spot. Hope you guys are all doing well. We got the GoPro working again. So I was able to do some warranty exchange, and it seems to be working now. So despite having it format and lose all the footage from before, uh, we are live now. So, super happy about that. Um, we lost a nice episode of uh, some furniture restoration, but what are you gonna do? Um, it happens. Technology, right? That's why it's important to get out here and do the, do the thing, chicken wings. Turn off the tech. Get out and respect. <laughs> All right, hopefully we find some cool goodies today, guys. Going on our little journey. The transition from spring into spring is uh, always a great time to pick stuff up because there's just junk everywhere. Uh, in winter, it accumulates and uh, there ends up being junk everywhere. Or at least the junk becomes visible again. Look at that. Look at these giant rocks, huh? Goodness. Grabbing all the plastics. Having some fun, but enjoying the day. It is a little bit chilly here in Chicagoland, but that's okay. I like it a little bit colder. Oh boy. That being said, it is, uh, it is really nice to be able to clean up in a t-shirt and shorts. Um, ooh, it's a muddy mess down here, guys. Uh, we had some rain recently, so this, this little river here was a flowing. Overflowed on uh, the walkway here. Which is a shame because uh, when it does that, when the water comes back up, oh, I'm sure there was a lot more junk here on this hill. Uh, it grabbed it. Uh, and now it's goodness no only knows where downstream. So that's what people, that's a, it's a really good word actually I like to think about when, uh, when I'm out here doing these cleanups is downstream. Where is this stuff ending up downstream and how can we prevent a lot of it from ending up down there? Uh, really hard to say. Like I said, my, my solution is hemp plastics. I'm not anti-plastic at all. We need it for our civilization. Uh, it's a good invention. Initially, but like all things, uh, it needs to be balanced and we're completely out of whack with our plastic production. Completely out of whack. There's just way too much of it and it's endangering all living things in existence. So I should be anti-plastic 100%, but uh, I don't know, there must be a reason why we have been able to manufacture it. We just gotta do it responsibly is all. So, let's see. Really pretty landscape here. Really, yeah, we have to protect the, more than anything is the, is the sea life that needs protection because, again, that's where a lot of this stuff all ends up, is uh, in waterways. And then eventually into the oceans where it just accumulates and, you know, yikes. And then, you know, also that is contributing to the acidification of the oceans, which then, you know, heats the planet up and it's not good for anybody. We got a little birdie here. Are you scared of me? Hello, friend, I'm just here to kind of help clean up your place. We'll leave junk everywhere, so we got to do the cleanup. Yeah, guys. 
So let's be conscious of uh, what we're doing. Oh, look at this. Now see, this is, this is the real reason why I like coming out here. It's not so for the cleanups. Look at this little baby. Baby spruce tree. Evergreen, some kind. Conifer. How pretty is that? Look at that. Huh? She's gorgeous. Little baby. Nature is lit, as they say. Super cool. Um, yeah, it's like my favorite part about coming out here. And watching stuff come back alive and transition from winter to spring. It's just awesome. So cool. Watching things grow year after year. Got some big old hefty acorns here as well. Look at those guys. Walnuts, all that good stuff. Yeah, just breathing the air, doing the little fresh air exchange between us and the uh, plants. It's important. Wow. It's actually, uh, not too bad. I'm gonna go up and around in here too because there's a lot of, I'm sure, old, old junk hidden away. Ooh, look at that ice house, yummy. Ancient ice house, yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Well, we got some moss growing over there. That's a nice, healthy, light green color in there. Stuff coming back on online. Da, 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 da. And we just want to make the habitat as nice as we possibly can for all these beautiful plants coming back online. And the mycelium underneath. Everything in the ecosystem is connected. Another book recommendation I got to. I'm gonna do another book review when I complete it is uh, Mushroom at the End of the World. Super excited to do that one. Another killer book with wonderful analogies to our current predicament and the environment and our own civilizations and how do we continue to build them, how do we move forward and um, very interesting. One, one of the biggest takeaways is we're all, you know, all ecosystems are connected to each other and all environments influence each other in ways uh, seen and unseen. So we gotta be conscientious of that in all of our decisions. Oh no, come back beautiful sun. We need your warmth. And uh, we need the light because it uh, it's harder to see. Doing cleanups in the dark is also just a nightmare. Just a nightmare. I mean, if you got big decked out flashlights, still isn't fun. Yeah, I see roads. <clears throat> Next to roads is really the biggest thing. You see a lot of it uh, accumulating down at riverbanks and right next to your roads. <clears throat> so 2024, guys, I can't believe we're already, uh, feels like a quarter of the way through almost. You got so much stuff that you want to achieve Time flies. Well, what's this? Oh, liquor. Boozers. Boozers are being naughty again. Throwing their miniature garbage out. You know, the smokers are no better though. These vapes are absolutely terrifying. Super duper terrifying, guys. 
if you smoke or consume vapes, please be careful and uh, properly dispose of them. That's, it ain't cool. Throwing those wherever you want. That's not something that we did in my day. We only, we didn't have the vapes. We just smoked the cigarettes and I regret every single one of those that I threw out my car window. Now that being said, those kind of decompose in about seven years, but compared to four or five, 600 years as plastic, it's still, it's just the act of littering and the act of wanting to take care of your environment is important. So we need to be doing that a little, little better, a little more. Another important thing to do is, yeah, watch out for your, your prickly vines your bushes, that kind of thing, and try to step on and do as little damage as you can to the surrounding areas, surrounding plants. Now eventually you come, you find the stash of, of trash. It just pops right out at you. You can fill up your bag real quick that way. And you find the big old. Look, there's no gluten. That's me, I'm celiac. How funny is that? Oh, this is big. What is this? Oh, it's dog food, huh? Look at that. Grain free. For the doggies. Yeah, that's why we're getting our doggies so sick too. Doggies and cats, they're not supposed to be eating all these GMO grains and gluten and all this nonsense. It's terrible for them. It's terrible for us. Gotta get smarter about our diet here. Oh, wow. What is that? So we wanna be careful here going in. I see spikies everywhere, but I do wanna get this out. Oh yeah, this is my other pet peeve, is we put plants in these plastic pots. It's like, I get that they're, we gotta do what we gotta do, but hemp is a, a much better alternative. Or clay, or you know, glass, or, there's a lot better alternatives than the plastic potted plants. You know, I, I'm guilty of purchasing them too and using them, but, uh, I just, something that I'm moving away from. I think we, can, I think we should all do that. It's silly to, uh, when there's alternatives, to not use them. Like it's one thing if there's a tiny miniature plastic device that a surgeon needs to do a, a heart replacement and that can only be manufactured with tiny microplastics, I mean, or you know, whatnot. So in that case, obviously you gotta do what you gotta do. Plastic's your only thing you can use, so you do that. But you know, all the other stuff, the single use stuff, crazy. I mean, look at this, it just dissolves, gross. Look at this cool little log though. I bet there, at one time there was some mycelial growth in here, huh? That's decaying really nicely. You got it. Oh. oh yeah. A couple more years and you wouldn't even know it was there. You would not even know it's there. That's the fun part about the biomass. Stuff uh, that's not Plastic. 600 years of plastic, huh? Wow. We're gonna try to keep this Warrenville Park as clean as we possibly can. Oh. All the bags. Oh, see, and they just dissolve in the rain. It's so sad. Ugh. No. 
snow, they're everywhere. Gross. No! People are just throw in their junk. What a bunch of skunks. This is a cool little ravine here. Look at these little babies. Ah, they're so new. How cute. Grow big, grow strong. Yeah. They don't look very healthy. It is still winter, but those don't look like very healthy trees. Health is wealth, y'all. And if it applies to us, it certainly applies to these plants and all other living things. So, what are we, uh, what are we doing here, huh? What are you doing? Stop doing that, huh? Stop throwing your shit everywhere. This is interesting little setup here. You always want to be careful if you're going into some deep cleanups in the woods. Little animals might live here. You don't want to disturb their home or get yourself hurt or injured. Ah, see? Here. We have a little accumulation of stuff. Yeah, I hear a little critter in there. There's definitely something in there. Oh my God. We hit the lotto, y'all. Somebody's got jugs. Jugs on jugs. And is a real jerk for leaving the jugs. Another thing we can solve to prevent more uh, trash is also uh, so, you know, dealing with the homeless crisis. Because a lot of vagabonds and a lot of homeless people, they're also the culprits of these, this, this trash uh, dispersion everywhere. Um, but you know, they're a lot less fortunate and they don't really have options. And um, you know, if we get them off the streets and working and doing things like maybe even picking up stuff and paying them a, you know, part of a government wage where our, all of our tax money comes out every check. Maybe we can ration some of that as payment for homeless jobs where, you know, who knows what those people are going through mentally or with drugs, but they deserve second chances and, um, you know, we can give it to them. We can do stuff like this and help the environment. Wow, gross. See, it doesn't take long, guys, before you come across a, a jackpot of garbage that just fills up your entire bag right away. This is why sometimes I gotta, I gotta carry around two bags. Depending on where I'm going here. Two bags, wow, look at all this. Yeah, see, this looks like somebody else's garbage that didn't make it to the garbage. That's a big problemo. Big problemo for show. Ugh, nasty, real nasty. But we gotta get it out. We gotta get it out the water, out of the ground. Even though in reality, we're just transferring it to the ground somewhere else in a landfill where we end up shipping our trash to all these other places in the world. It's, it's, a, it's a madness when you really think about it, what's going on here, what we're doing. It's truly madness. You know, whether you believe in global warming or not, just logistically of the production, the transfer of all this trash, especially the single-use stuff, boggles my mind. There's got to be more efficient ways to do it. Oh yeah, 
I hear some animals in here. I don't know if you guys can hear them, but I certainly can. What is going on? I can't grab this. My trusty dusty grabber is losing some of its strength. There's this guy up here I saw too. So just like that guys, we fill up a bag real quick. Nasty. We are such fools. <clears throat> That's okay. The only way to learn from mistakes is to make them. So, you just gotta get better. That's all. Just gotta get better. Sometimes you gotta take the hard way instead of the easy way. Like through these thorns to get this trash. Yeah. <sighs> And now the corporations, and the militaries and governments and nations of the world need to do the same thing. Stop being wasteful, stop being greedy. Let's put our heads together, do things the way they should be done in harmony with everything else in our environment. <clears throat> but uh, that being said, guys, I'm about to wrap it up here. It's getting dark. Mm. We fill up the rest of my bag and head on home for the day. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it, guys. Uh, we will, now that I got the GoPro working again, we will have uh, some more videos coming in hot for you. So, appreciate it. Make sure you're living that green revolution, y'all. Get out there, turn off the phones, turn off the TVs, turn off the YouTubes, unsubscribe, and uh, get out there and be in nature, especially now that it's. Uh, seasons are changing. Bye.